Tax would certainly come at a good time for many as the rising prices for everything from groceries to gas are hitting us right in the pocketbook. Valley News Team's Nashe Taylor dives into the trend and how it's impacting consumers. Nashe? Yeah, Stacey, according to local economists, for in healthy economy. Inflation typically should be around 2%, but as of September, it has risen up to 5.4%. Let's get this working here. Okay, I guess it's not going to work, but it's believed that this is possibly the highest the inflation rate has been since in the last 10 years. Now, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the consumer prices are skyrocketing. For example, the price for food has jumped by 4.6%, and for gas, for gas, it has jumped by 42%. Meanwhile, used cars have also been driven up by almost 25 percent. Now consumers here right here in the valley say they are feeling those increases. I came in here I was like oh it's 30, uh, 309, uh, 309 for gas instead of 299. I was like oh no. Some locals are feeling the sticker shock of rising prices for some consumer goods like gas. Most people I don't like spending more money but I kind of understand like we got to print more money we got to do that kind of thing. Uh, just inflation is just going to happen. But the rate of inflation has been unprecedented just in the last year. A little upset. I don't think it needs to be this way. I understand there's some extenuating circumstances that are causing things with COVID and everything, but I feel the government is just trying to control things too much. And so Economists say there may not be any relief anytime soon. And some local consumers say they worry for those that may not be able to afford the increasing prices. It hasn't affected me too much, um, but obviously, you know, I have the income where I can absorb it, but some people, it's, it's harder on some people, I can guarantee you that. So. One couple visiting from Montana says they too have noticed a spike in the price of goods. Grocery items keep being reported five, anywhere from 5 to 10 percent higher than last year. But what I've seen in all the stores that we typically frequent is more closer to 30 percent of an increase. But the couple says it's not just gas and food prices that are going up. The price of accommodations is even higher as well. Uh, we were noticed, I was noticing some of the prices of some of the hotels that would normally be around $100 a night are $130, $140 a night now. What could be the root behind the change in inflation? Economists say federal spending, the demand for goods and services, limited product supplies, and staffing shortages are some of what may be driving up prices. Now, experts say this year some of your favorite products or goods may not be available. Now, Stacy, with the holidays coming up around the corner, experts say you should start doing your holiday shopping now. I know, we keep saying that and <laughs> I just keep not doing it. I gotta start listening. Well, yeah, you better right. check your list. Exactly. <laughs>